Hey guys, Charles here, aka the God of SEO, and welcome to this quick free video. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about 301s and 301 redirects. Um, so I thought I'd do a quick video, as I'm now back from Mexico, um, and I thought I'd do a quick video covering how to do them, why, and, and what they're used for, basically. Um, so in this example, I'll be covering two types of redirects, uh, the host level redirect, which is using the cPanel account on um, a host called MDD Hosting, and also using the registrar level redirect, which is this using a domain on Namecheap, on name, on Namecheap Marketplace, getting my words mixed up there. Um, so basically, 301s have uh, one of two reasons. Number one is to protect your domain from um, links that you're pointing at the 301, which then goes forward to your your main domain. Um, you want to protect your domain as some links that you're building to your site, such as spam or such as SAP or such as some blog networks, could be hit um, or could be penalized by Google. And if it's through a 301, specifically an aged 301, then the age of that domain will absorb that um, the bad link juice that you're getting through them rather than um, directly pointing out your site. Otherwise, you're just going to nuke your fresh domain into oblivion. So that's why you want to do an A301, because it protects your site. Um, they're also really good if you want to have tons of links, but you don't want to put it all on one site. Um, or or if you want to have one site um, and you're scared of it getting penalized, then you can, if you get a manual penalty within Google, or if you get an automatic penalty within Google, you can simply turn off the 301s and um, request, do a reconsideration request within Google, and most of the time they will let your site back in. Also, um, a 301 is really good if you have a ton of links and you want to protect your site again from having um, the issues that you can get with uh, with building tons of spammy links at your site. So in this scenario, I'm going to be doing uh, this domain, which is affiliatemarketplace.net, um, and I'm going to be 301 ing it at Black Hat Documentary. So I'm just going to stick in Black Hat Documentary here. And on the www. This is simply within all host records, which you can find in your domain manager tool in Namecheap. Um, on the app, you want to put in the URL, and on the www, you want to put in the um, URL. You want to put in the record type as U advanced URL redirect 301 for both of these, and then your TTL as 1800 in both of these on here as well. Um, and you simply scroll down and click Save Changes. So now I've managed to 301 this domain at, uh, at Blackboard Community, and if I go to a new incognito mode tab and trick into my browser, um, you'll see it redirects now to Black Hat Doc Community. So that's how you set up the 301 on the registrar level. Um, but there are benefits to doing it on the host level because you tend to get them indexed a lot quicker and a lot more power and, and quicker, a lot powerful, because the tables of which the internet run on will be updated a lot quicker if it's on a host. So for this um, thing, I'm going to be using cPanel. So most of your hosts will be using cPanel. Um, I'm going to put in a permanent 301. You can also select a 302, but that doesn't pass link juice. That's the main thing. You have to have it as a 301. Otherwise, you won't be passing any link juice that you're doing. Um, and I'm going to redirect it to Black Dot Community and click Add. This will now redirect, as you can see here, test.goldmarketing.com redirects to Black Dot Community. So if I go into a new incognito tab again, put in test.goldmarketing.com. Um, into the browser, as you can see, it also redirects to Black Hat Community. So that's two methods of doing it. Um, it's it's a really easy thing to do. It's really simple to do. And again, it protects your domain with its with the domain's age, and it protects your money site with the domain's age. Um, you're looking to get age domains. Otherwise, if you get a fresh domain, then it will protect it slightly, but it won't pr protect it versus a ton of spam. I always suggest when getting SAP, unless you're getting the really expensive services like um, Bash and Danielle offers, um, to always put your SAP through a 301. Thanks, it's been Charles, aka the God of SEO. Don't forget to check out my blog and Black Hat Community. Peace.